Good evening and welcome back once again. So we're on a bit of a win streak here and we've kept some decent clean sheets as well. So today we're playing uh, Racing de Santander. We've actually then got a two week break before we play Athletic Bilbao in the Copa del Rey, which is going to be a really tough match. But yeah, so we've got a couple of away matches. Let's jump in to see who's actually starting in today's match. And this is the lineup that we're going in with today. We'll fix the lineup because I think it was a bit wrong at some point when I, I don't know if it's when I sold someone or something happened and the game automatically selected what the wing backs were. So I've actually got Sanu in. Now, normally he's like a, a left midfielder or winger, but he slots in well at left back. And then we've put Gyoza in at right back, which is his naturally suited position. We've actually brought in Kavazovic in for Ericsson. It's centre back. Ericsson will be going in the January transfer window, so we might as well start playing this youngster in a few matches where we can. Might build up his rating a little bit. We've got Hetich, Herrera, and Fabio Vieira in midfield, and we've got Arcas, Zirksi, and Carlos Perez in attack. And as you can see, I've now made Fabio Vieira the captain of the club. And here we are, we're playing at El Sardoreno, that's how you pronounce it. Racing to Santander, it's another away match. Really nice looking stadium. You see the cameraman there, some nice touches actually. But, um, I tend to just skip these cutscenes normally, but um, yeah, they're quite nicely done. Now we've been faultless so far in terms of actual results. Won every match so far. Had a couple of close calls. Um, but yeah, we've certainly been dominating possession at least. It's not the best pass from Herrera. <clears throat> but yeah, I hope you are enjoying the series. Um, Drop some comments down below if you can. Let me know what you think and also what you might want to see. Are there any other games you might want to see on the channel as well? Because obviously I'm mainly playing sports games, pretty much just PES and PGA Tour 2K23. Obviously PES is in different forms, different versions, but I'm thinking about trying some other videos, some non-sports games. Um, I know one of the guys that's been commenting on a lot of the videos was mentioning possibly like Red Dead Redemption 2. That That's a really good idea. I do have that on the PS5. Um, the Witcher 3 has just had its next gen re-release, so could potentially do that. Viera, a uh, decent strike. It didn't get blocked, which is good. Um, comfortable save, though. Nice header there. Herrera's on the ball. Perez, and it is blocked. Now we've had um, decent possession so far. What I'd say is it doesn't seem as fluent as normal. That's, that's a foul. Yeah. Oh. I thought I had fouled him. That's like 50 50, I suppose, that really, isn't it? But um, probably got away with that one. I might have a look at changing some of the squad numbers as well, because um, obviously Sahoon is down as a number 10, which he certainly is not. That doesn't really matter, but I like the, uh, the shirt numbers to be fairly realistic. You know, youngsters not having the best squad numbers and then when they work their way up and they've been there a while they might take a one of the one of the shirts that um they watched their heroes growing up wearing. Need some support here. Gets it from Perez, but that's tackled. Good tackle there. Have to be careful. And they're not just booting up here, trying to play it nice. Well, at least until I said that, and then they did boot it up. Um, it's, I mean, we're getting a lot of possession, but it's not... Um, can't really find the chance there. Nice play. Vieira, oh, just wide. Get 
again nicely just sort of flicked it up a little bit with the first touch oh, lovely strike yeah and if you have been following the series who's your favorite player so far you know whether that's one that we've actually signed or not um me personally it's got to be Vieira um but I've got a soft spot for the keeper as well running out of space here well yeah Vieira's footwork is ridiculous sometimes again just trying to maintain possession because I can't quite yeah it wasn't the best of passes Oops, wasn't the best of touches from the centre back there, the youngster. Good if there wasn't anyone too close by. Oh dear, that's not really who I was intending to pass there, but it was poor. Got it back though, so no harm done. Nice ball to Vieira, and it's blocked again. I'm not going to get angry about it, but it's just, uh, yeah, it's a bit annoying. Like, don't get me wrong, shots should be blocked sometimes, but um, that should be a foul, and it is. I don't know if they could have played on, actually, but never mind. They seem to have made the most out of the quick free kick. Oh, should have managed to tackle him there. Just wide. Yeah, if you just look here, I think it was Vieira actually. Yeah, he just failed to get the tackle in and that um, opens up some space. So yeah, we're not getting it all our own way in this uh, match so far. Far from it. Which um, makes a little bit of change from the past couple of matches. That's poor there. I could see that that uh, pass was going to be cut out. But it's half time. It's tight so far. Probably had the majority of the possession if we look at the stats. But 69%. Um, good value. Apart from that Vieira chance which was outside the box. That was a half decent chance and a good strike. Yeah, not really much in it. And possession's great, but it's goals that count. You know, it doesn't matter if you end up with 60 or 70% possession. You know, if the other team takes their chances um, over you, that's all that matters, really. And I do like having possession. I do like controlling the game, but it's that killer pass and finish that you need at the end of the day. Oh, lovely ball. <sighs> Decent strike. And I think Hetich is on an upward condition, which can... Just make scoring and playing decent passes a little bit easier, but he puts it wide this time. Yeah, nice play. Nice little dink ball through. Oh, that was just wide. And I know I talked about, I think it was a couple of matches ago, potentially raising the difficulty, but sometimes when you play games like this where you, it is a struggle and um, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep the difficulty as it is for now, I think. We'll see how we get on maybe halfway through the season or something like that. Um, yeah, we're going to have Fabio Vieira do an outswinger here. Oh my word, what a header that was. Wow. Really good corner. That's probably the first decent corner we've played in this Master League career so far. Look at that leap, though, from Herrera. Absolute towering header. And what makes it even better, which I'm sure you'll agree, whenever a goal goes in off the post or the crossbar, it's just that little bit more satisfying. Yeah, Vieira will be getting another assist as well. Um... Good work. 
Now, just got to be careful because, you know, take your concentration off after you've scored and it's when you're going to let a goal in. Well broken up by Herrera. Was going to play the ball through, but he locked offside. Nice ball at Arcas, though. Ah, I was just underneath my feet. I probably should have taken a touch. The idea was... Yeah. Let's have a quick look again. Nice ball back from Argos. It was a little bit behind him. And we'll probably make some substitutions in the next five minutes or so. Um, not sure who we're going to take off. See what the uh, the energy's like. Wouldn't say Vieira's been as dominant as he normally is, but he's created a couple of chances and he's also had an effort on goal, which was close. Just by an Argas there, but we'll keep the ball. Not for long, shouldn't have said that. Oh, nice ball through. Ah, oh, it's straight to the keeper. Sometimes you, when you play those low crosses, they do tend to favour curling towards the keeper. And that was on his weaker foot. you got to remember the wide players I normally play are, um, you know, inverted wingers. So they cut, uh, cut in on their favourite foot rather than um, crossing with their favourite foot. Might not even get any subs on at this rate if the ball doesn't go out. Defender spotted that one. Ooh, didn't uh, play the best header out there though, but they've managed to keep it safe. Herrera's had a good game. I mean, yes, he scored the goal, but he's just been mopping up in midfield, playing some really nice passes. Definitely want to make his uh, sign in permanent. Here's Vieira. Oh, he gets tackled, and again, just couldn't quite get it. He's normally so good at close control, he was just losing out on the 50-50s there yeah I don't think we're going to get any subs in at this rate in fact at this, at this point there's probably not much point because um, your subs won't get any sort of ratings or anything so don't really get any XP, ah I lost the ball there good tackle oh could have breaked it oof Thought it was going to break to Zergzy there on number nine. Okay, he hasn't had much to sniff at in this game. I don't think it's just been tight all around, really, and it's taken a, a set piece to actually break them down. Oh, what a wonderful finish that would have been from Vieira. A little bit cheeky there. Um, Nice ball in from the right back. Oh, that would have been a nice little uh, nice little goal. And to be fair, it was the right thing to do. What it was cheeky, but it was actually the probably the best way of getting a, you know a shot on target. Uh, it was just wide. Nice ball from Vieri was there. Uh, a little bit surrounded there. Back out wide. Carlos Perez. There's not much space to aim for. Oh, the ball gets blocked. Good interception, but they might get one last counter attack here. I'm gonna make sure that. Oh, God. And there it is. Wow. What a killer blow that was. 
Oh, that's literally the last kick of the game as well. We left ourselves open in the counter-attack and this is what I've said, even though we've, when we've controlled games, we have looked a little bit vulnerable on the counter-attack. Um, we have shored that up a little bit. But, yeah, it's just got the overload here and players are just tired out on the feet. I try to bring the keeper out to close down the angle, but really, really smart finish. Can't really complain about that. That was a really nicely worked goal. Lovely pass. And I closed down the angle and he just slotted it around the keeper. Surely not one last chance. I thought that would have been the, the whistle going. Oh, Cass, come on. Ugh. Yeah, that is full time though. <laughs> wow, I did not expect that at the end there. Like I say, look at that. Two thirds of the possession, way more shots on and off target, more than double amount of passes, but they're only shot on goal, they've scored and they've scored it in. It was actually in the 92nd minute. So all I can say is I got it, but you know, well done to them. I mean, it was a very tough game, you know, and I thought if we came away with a win on that one, it was, um, we weren't at our best. We didn't dominate midfield. Yes, we had the possession, but we weren't really creating that many chances. Let's have a look at the ratings. Herrera, man of the match, which is what I said. You, he, he was really good. Great header from him as well. But all around play, he was fantastic. And look at the ratings, actually. Defensively, a, a lot of our defence got higher ratings than normal because often your defence gets sort of fives, 5.5s if they're not in the game much and they don't have many passes. And just looking at the table, obviously, Luganes is the only team that's now won four out of four. We're now joint second, I suppose you would say, on those 10 points. Now, not the end of the world. We're only four games in. You are going to drop points throughout the season. Bit of a hammer blow in the last minute of the game. And just to let you know, we have actually received in a bid for Mihailov as well. He's not a bad youngster when we started, but now that we've got some really good attack and threats in, we are going to sell him. Our salary budget, it is increasing. Remember that at one point it was pretty much zero, which is why we had to get a loan in. We didn't have to get a loan in, but we got a loan in just from selling a few players and also changing the settings where any sort of incomings in terms of non-transfers, you know, like merchandise and receipts and all that sort of stuff, we've changed that to go to the salary budget. And we've also changed any sort of bonuses that we pay out comes out of the transfer transfer budget and that's made a difference so come January we should be able to make that loan signing permanent which will be my first priority and then we may even have a little bit of budget to play for to get another player we'll have to wait and see yeah so bear in mind we've actually got six players ready to be going out it says we've got 29 players obviously that's going to reduce down to 23 and technically Herrera's on roll on loan so we've got 22 permanent players come January Obviously, if we make Herrera permanent, that'll be 23. And I think that's a little bit more of a, a decent number to be getting rid of some of the sort of players we're not going to be playing. They're just sitting there for no reason. You want to reduce that squad down and then you want to sort of build it back up again with the players you want. But yeah, I just want to say a big thanks again, guys. Really appreciate you watching this video. Drop a comment down below if you can. Hit the like button. Think about subscribing to the channel if you want to keep up to date with the uh, the videos. But more importantly, if you can join me next time with the Copa del Rey match against Athletic Bilbao, be much appreciated. That's going to be another tough match. Can we get through to round three? Let's hope we do. I'll see you all then, and I'll speak to you soon.